Neil, games between Hibs and Kilmarnock always seem to throw up plenty of entertainment and that was another one. It was a very high quality game of football and um, you know I was concerned going into the game, you know Kilmarnock had a great win at uh, Aberdeen last last time out, not many teams can go there and win as comfortably as they did. So I knew we were in for a game today but we got off to a great start and then we became very very passive defensively and uh, if you do that against good sides they'll, they'll punish you and you know that's what we just said to the players at half time. It wasn't as if we were playing poorly and they were the you know, two attempts on goal that Kilmarnock had first half. So we got punished for you know, not being as aggressive as we could have been. Second half, we thought we had good control of the game. I thought we played well today, Cliff, and I thought we deserved to win. Similar to the game at Rugby Park last season, 2-2. We were 2 nothing up in that game. They pegged us back to 2-2. Uh, there was a controversial decision in that game. Led to a penalty kick. They maybe felt there was a controversial one here. I don't know how you saw it. Oh, it was a penalty because Jimmy's wrong side and he gets his leg taken away. He's read the, he's read the pass or the knockdown. can't remember which it was. He's got his body in the way and his leg's been taken away. So it was the correct decision. Paul Camberry back in the starting lineup. Maybe looked a wee bit rusty, like a wee bit match sharpness, but he put the penalty away well. Yeah, but any any good moves came through Flo, you know, and he's such an important player for us, and um, that'll give him the, his confidence to shot in the arm. Not that he needed, because he's a confident boy, but to go up there and, and take the penalty under pressure, you know, speaks volume for him, and I'm delighted with that. So that'll give him, you know, hopefully have him up and running now because it's been a frustrating time for him as it has been for us because we miss him. You know, we miss that physical presence and we've had to change the system today and we've only had a few days to work on it. It's still a little bit of tweaks here and there that need working on. Ayupon comes on, does great for us. Thought he had a very good game. Milligan comes on, thought he was very good. Thought Whitaker in that role did very, very well as well. So it's been a good day all round. Captain was outstanding, Ambrose outstanding, so a lot of good performances out there today. We'll not talk about Stevie Mallon's goal because he just does that every time he gets a free kick around there. But uh, it's just, you know, it's world class. You know, to hit it, you know, that hard with the control into the top corner, the other corner, it's just world class. And uh, again, I thought, you know, he showed a lot of things that he didn't show two weeks ago. His desire to get the ball back, his passing was good. He almost scored again. So he's having a fantastic time with us. The second goal looked like it came straight from the training ground. Yeah, Gary Parker taking the copyright for that, and <laughs> you know he studied the videos, and um, the movement was good, the execution was good, and it's always very pleasing when that does work. So it gave us a great start, but um, we just seemed to drop off a little bit our intensity to our play, and um, you know they scored two very good goals from their point of view. That said, you did have to reorganise things. The absence of Paul Hanlon didn't help matters. You had to, to change things at the back a little bit. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, you always want to be flexible with your formations anyway. And again, I, at the minute, we're a work in progress because of the changes and players getting up to speed. And it's been a bit stop-start with, obviously, Europe and then the transfer window and then this international break. So hopefully things will settle down and we can get a rhythm of games now. I'd be happy to get Mark Milligan in there and give him a few minutes as well. He looked quite combative. Yeah, yeah, he's a man. And uh, he's been very impressive in training. You know, he had a spell over the Australian camp and um, he's still, that's his first competitive outing since the World Cup. So obviously you can't just throw him in there. Same with Marvin, you know, he missed out today because it's just too soon for him. But, you know, hopefully he'll be around it next week. And the same with Darren McGregor as well. So we're getting some bodies back, which is obviously very pleasing.